Welcome back to a new episode here in Swabi. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make an easy and simple logo reveal for any of the logos that you have or even titles. You can use this technique in pretty much anything you want, but the focus of today's is on logo. And I hope that you enjoyed the view of my backyard right there. No, I'm just kidding. I wish. Uh, anyway, so let's get started right away. But before that, as always, we need a fusion composition and I'm just going to make it. Um, let's make it four seconds long. OK, and then we're going to go right into it. Uh, and as always, if you need transitions for DaVinci Resolve, if you want to use them, you can check out our Thea transitions pack on the link is down in the description. Right now we are here in Fusion and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a background because that's what's gonna do is it's gonna create the base that's in the resolution of our timeline and that's 1920 by 1080 right there we can f let's flush the cache right now unused let's get rid of it okay so the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna add a merge node and then we're gonna bring our image of our logo. We're gonna use this one, which is the Thea sort of logo. And we're gonna add a transform node to these so we can resize it. And then we're gonna add connect it to our merge node. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller. Like that, it's fine. Then the way that we're gonna do to reveal it is we're gonna add a mask to this merge node. So we're gonna add one here and we can increase the softness of the edges and make our mask a little bit bigger. We can also rotate it a little bit, which is what I did for the one that you already saw, right? So we take the mask right here and we're going to animate this mask first of all. But this mask is going to be at 50% or like at 0.5 here on the level, which is basically going to act as it's going to make it a little bit more opaque. So we're going to go here and uh, let's go to frame. We can start it. It doesn't really matter where we're gonna start it here at frame 7 We're gonna create a position keyframe and then we're gonna go Let's go to 15 and we're gonna create move these so that our logo is there and that's the first step For the second step what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, go here to this transform node and we're gonna add a glow effect you can use, I, th I think it's the normal glow, it's fine. And the way that you can use this is by changing here the filter, it adjusts how bright sometimes it is. You can play around with this. And then we can increase the size of the glow and even the color and the strength of it. To, to, change, this, the, to change the color, we're gonna go here to where it says color scale. And let's make it red this time. So we're going to increase the red and we're going to lower the blue and green. So that's going to make the red one a little a little bit more strong, right? You can also change the apply mode here, but it doesn't really change much. And the alpha scale, which is going to make it sort of like blend more or be a little bit brighter kind of thing. Okay. Since we have our glow, the next thing that we need is we need to add a mask right here. Okay. Step number three. For this step, we need to add a mask to our glow. Since we have a glow setup, we're gonna add a mask here and we're gonna make these um, really like skinny like that. And we're gonna make it short too. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. And we can make it a little bit even thinner and we're gonna increase the soft edge so it's not that sharp. Okay, and we're gonna animate these by moving these here. So after our first thing is here, frame 15, ready. We're gonna wait a few frames, let's say 19, and we're gonna animate our position for this one. So we're gonna go from here, and from 19, we're gonna go to frame 25 and drag it across. And that is pretty much for that one. And then we're gonna just simply press Ctrl C and Ctrl V and copy a new one and we can change the paint mode to add and then we can go to keyframes right here and we can move these around so it starts a little bit later so now the first one is gonna come and then the second one is gonna come right behind 
And you can make the second one go slower if you want by increasing the distance between these two keyframes right here. So at frame 28. Okay, and then we have that one. Then that's it for step number three. The next step is step number four, as you guessed it. Um, okay, so then for that, we're gonna go down here back to a rectangle, our first mask, and we're gonna copy and paste that one. But we need to reanimate these, so we're gonna get rid of these center position right here, remove the path, and we're gonna increase the level to one. So now we're gonna go back to like outside of it. And we can move these a little bit so it's sort of like at the same angle of our of these uh, glow that we have here by doing that. Okay, and then we're gonna go here to this glow and see where it starts. And we're gonna align these uh, these mask that we have here, the lower mask, so that it moves at the same time with the second glow and sort of like reveals that sharper white of our logo okay so we're gonna create a keyframe for our position right here right here in the rectangle and the mask here and then we're gonna go ahead number one two three and try to make sure you can go all the way here to the end and straight move it like that we're gonna adjust the size also and then if we go back we can make sure that these are aligned if it is a little bit too like ahead of it or you can make it go right under it right and then we're gonna go back and try just adjust those points that we have oh not that one um, our big rectangle and then after you adjust that point we can preview it preview it and there we have our logo. And then one thing that I also did was we had a background being black at the beginning. So we're going to increase this alpha again. And then we're going to select everything. So we see where our last keyframe is right here at 28. Then from 28, we're going to go to 32 or 31. We're going to create a keyframe for the, for the alpha here. And I'm going to go ahead and 36 we're gonna bring it all the way to transparent so this one still shows up on your background like the video layer that's in the that's behind it uh, if you want to put it on top of a video layer so then after that we're gonna go from here after it shows up we can leave it a little bit there so it's sort of like in the intro that I had and we're gonna go and reanimate these two masks so they go up so we're gonna create a position keyframe for both of them and then we're gonna take them both out at the same time. And that is pretty much how you can do a simple and easy logo reveal animation here in DaVinci Resolve. And yeah, if you are wondering about those motion graphics transitions that I've used, like between the steps and all that that's about that's what friday's video is going to be about so be sure to be on the lookout for that and if you want to be notified about that video make sure to click the subscribe button so you can be notified when we are dropping that video this friday i've been working on it already today um so yeah so i hope that you found this video useful and that you can use it on your youtube intros or any other video that you have if you do upload it to YouTube, tag us or let us know down in the comments so we can check them out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next video here in Suave.